What's your opinion on virtual real estate companies that have moved their offices into the cloud? I love every model because guess what? Every model serves a different purpose and every model serves a different person, right? We all have different goals. Let me give you an example. If I don't need any support, zero as a realtor, and I kind of want to run my own ship, I may not go with a traditional model right? Because I don't need that support. I don't need the website. I don't need the marketing. I don't need any of that. So I want to try to get probably my best bang for my buck as far as a commission split because I'm already taking care of all this on the side. If I'm a brand new agent and there's not training set up and I'm lost, guess what? Going with a commission only or a 100% shop or a virtual company or whatever that may be may not be suitable for me because guess what? I need hand holding from the broker. So what I would tell you is I don't look at what model's best. I look at the person and what model probably fits them. I would tell you every different real estate model and brokerage fits and suits a different type of person. Guys, let me just give you an example. I started with a company that I gave $90,000 a year to, and I knew there's three other companies I could have gone to and gave myself a raise automatically because I was giving a lot of commission up. And I didn't look at it as I'm giving a lot of commission up. I saw the value, right? I believed in the brand. I liked my broker. Um, I got the support I needed. Although, yes, I was paying more than if I was at a different brokerage or a different model, for me, for Tyler, at that time, guess what? I was okay doing that. I knew what I was getting out of it. Now, let me flip it. At one point, it became a reason for me to make that change for whatever reasons it was at that time. So what I would tell you is you have to analyze what you're looking for. Do you need support? Do you not need support? What are the benefits? I would take a, a line item by line item and put all the pros and cons for every single type of brokerage that you're currently looking at, analyze it, talk with some of your mentors and other colleagues, and then make a decision. That's what I would do.